Hello guys welcome back to Tech Dose and in this video we will see the minimum operations to make the array k increasing problem which is from lead code number 2111 and this is from the dynamic programming topic a prerequisite before watching this video is to watch my video on how to solve longest increasing subsequence in order of n log n and you will find the link in the description below and also in the i button you can just click it and watch I hope you know this and so we will be proceeding. So let's look at the problem statement now. In this problem uh, we are given zero indexed array consisting of n positive integers and an integer k. Uh, the array is k increasing if array at i minus k is less than equals to array at i. And this holds true for every index i where i lies between k and n minus 1. Okay. Uh, so basically uh, they are trying to make a non-decreasing type of curve. This is not strictly increasing. This is non-decreasing type of curve. Okay. So let's uh, look at an example for better understanding. Now let's take the first array. In the first array uh, you can see I have given the elements 5, 7, 7, 9 and here k is equals to 1. The k equals to 1 value means that you just have one list. Okay, so the jump size is equals to 1. So k equals to 1 means you have jump size 1. So your list is 5779. Now think about it. Is it a non-decreasing curve? Uh, if you think it carefully then 7 is greater than equals to 5. Uh, this 7 is greater than equals to 7 and this 9 is greater than equals to 7. Therefore, uh, this is perfectly fine this is non-decreasing curve right so you need zero operations to make it non-decreasing and hence the answer in this case will be zero let's look at the second example in this case as well the k value is one that means you just have a single list because the jump size is one right now if you look at it carefully is one greater than equals to three no is seven greater than equals to one yes and is zero uh, greater than equals to seven no it is not right so how can you make it non-decreasing? You can make it by converting this 3 to any value which is less than or equals to 1. So let's make it 0. And uh, you can make this as any value greater than or equals to 7. Uh, so let's make it 8. So if you make this change of 3 to uh, 0 and this 0 to 8, then this will become k increasing, right? So this will become a non-decreasing curve. And the number of operations you took was 2. We have to return the minimum number of operations you will take. In this case, the answer is 2. If you look at the third example, then the k value is equals to 2. This means that the jump size will be 2. That means the first list is 4, 5, 6 and the second list is 1, 2 and 2. Right? So if you take them separately, let's take 4, 5 and uh, what 6. If you look at this, is it a non-decreasing curve? I think it is a non-decreasing curve. Right, you can see 5 is greater than or equals to 4, 6 is greater than or equals to 5. So it is fine. It is already following the rule. If you look at the second uh, example, 1, 2, 2. This is the second list, right, you are getting. This is also non-decreasing, so it is fine. So we, we do not need to make any changes to make it k increasing. And therefore, the answer in this case will be equals to 0. That means we don't need to make any change. If you look at the fourth example, in this case, k equals to 2 means we have two lists. So what are those lists? 5, 4, 6, right? So in the first list, if I can just write it down, 5, 4, 6, is it non-decreasing? No, it is not non-decreasing because you see that the 4 is actually uh, smaller than 5, okay? So th this is not following our rule. So what you can do is you can make this 4 equals to 5 or 6 in between the value of the two adjacent items. And if you do that, then this is uh, making it, uh, I mean, non-decreasing curve. That means it is following our rule. So the number of operations you took in this case is 1. That is the minimum operation. Now if you look at the second list 7 and 9. Is it non-decreasing? Yes it is non-decreasing. It is fine. And therefore it is already following the rule. So the answer in this case will be 1. That means one operation was taken to make the first list as uh, non-decreasing and, and the number of operations taken to make the second list non-decreasing is 0 because it is already following the rule and, and therefore 1 plus 0 is 1. So the answer in this case will be 1, right? So we have to find the minimum operations to make the array k increasing and here one operation means one value change, okay? And we are particularly focusing on making every list non-decreasing sequence, okay? So I hope you were able to understand the question. I would like to announce about our live training programs, data structures and algorithms, which is interview dose and system design, which is design dose. 
if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in now if i uh, take a simple uh, graphical representation of an example so this is a simple array 5147357 and let's say this is just a single list with k value equals to 1 and if i have to make it a kind of non decreasing curve then what will you do uh, in such a way that it is followed with minimum number of operations what you will do is uh, you will be finding the increasing subsequence and particularly i would say that the longest increasing subsequence and that will be in this case 1 3 5 7 okay so this is of length 4 uh, you can also argue that you can make 1 4 5 7 and it is completely fine you can follow any one so let's follow 1 3 5 7 so let's put it there 1 3 5 7 okay so you don't need to change the elements of the longest increasing subsequence now what you need to do is you have to uh, make changes to the other items which are not into your lis so this 5 here has to decrease to a value less than equals to 1 so you can make it let's say 0 right this 4 has to be at some value which is uh, greater than equals to 1 but it also uh, should be less than equals to 3 and let's make it 2 and uh, this 7 should fall to a value which is greater than equals to 2 and less than equals to 3 so you can make it to 2 right so if you follow this approach uh, then you will be able to convert this entire list into non decreasing curve with minimum steps and how uh, can i guarantee that with the minimum steps it is happening because we already found the longest increasing subsequence okay so if i find the longest run of items which do not need to change then definitely if i have n items and i found that the longest set of items which do not need to change then if i subtract it from the n items then you will get the smallest set of items which needs to change right okay so just think about it carefully you will get the intuition of this problem so just following that intuition let's say for k equals to 1 you are given an array 2 4 3 7 5 so this is just a single list you can make it non decreasing by changing this 3 to 5 by changing this 7 to uh, 6 and then you can make this 5 to 7 and so the number of operations you take is 3 and uh, hence the given list is converted to a non decreasing curve right in three operations but is this the optimal number of operation is this the minimum number of operations well in this case it is not because if you try to find out the longest increasing subsequence it will be of length equals to 3 there can be multiple longest increasing subsequences in this case one such subsequence is 2 3 and 5 you can also argue there is a 2 3 7 or you can say 2 4 7 and so on there can be multiple lis but the thing is uh, the length will always be the same right so the length here is 3 now what are the number of items here the number of items is equals to 5 the length of the lis is 3 so you subtract the length of lis from the number of items and you get two operations and what will be those two operations if you consider the lis items to be 2 3 5 then you have to manipulate this you have to change this four so that it becomes greater than equals to 2 and less than equals to 3 so we can make this 2 so just change it to 2 and we have to change this 7 so that it comes in between 3 and 5 so we can change it to 3 or 4 or 5 whatever so we have changed it to 3 and then it becomes non decreasing right so finding the lis will always guarantee that you will get the uh, minimum number of items uh, to change so that you get the curve as non decreasing right so lis will give what other items we need to change fine so let's look at another example in this example you have 4 1 3 2 6 1 and with k equals to 2 if you have k equals to 2 then you have two list okay because the jump size is 2 so one such list will be 4 3 6 and that has been listed here as list 1 another list will be 1 2 and 1 and that has been listed as list 2 and you have to maintain that both of this list should be non decreasing so is the list one non decreasing no it is not so what will be the lis you find the lis i'll i'll show you the dry run of how to find lis after this uh, so let's just uh, think that you know how to find lis so what will be the lis in this case the lis will be of length 2 and that will be 
फोर कॉमा सिक्स आई मीन वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू थिंक अबाउट वॉट विल बी दी एल आई एस बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन डजेंट आस्क अस अबाउट वॉट आर दी एलिमेंट्स वी आर चेंजिंग बट इट इज जस्ट कंसर्न अबाउट वॉट आर दी नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स यू आर चेंजिंग राइट सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू फाइंड एल आई एस लेंथ एंड नॉट दी एक्जैक्ट एल आई एस सो इन दिस केस इफ यू कंसिडर फोर एंड सिक्स दैन थ्री हैज टू बी चेंज टू अ वैल्यू इन बिटवीन फोर एंड सिक्स दैट इज पॉसिबल राइट सो यू सब ट्रैक्ट दी एल आई एस फ्रॉम एन एंड दैट विल मेक इट इक्वल्स टू वन right so in this case uh, the number of operations you need is one and in the second case as well uh, you need one operation because the lis will be 1 comma 2 so you need to make this one change you can make it 2 3 4 whatever and so the number of operations will be one so the total number of operations you require is 1 plus 1 which is 2 so the answer in this case will be 2 right now if you are thinking about how to know what are the list so if you have a k value equals to 2 then the first k items will be the starting position of the k list okay because when you jump from index 0 you will be jumping to index k from 0 you will get to k and then if you add k you will be going to 2k and 3k and so on right unless you exceed the size n for the second list you will be going from uh, 1 to k plus 1 to 2k plus 1 and so on 3k plus 1 right and uh, like this you will be going so the first k items will be actually the starting position for each of the list and uh, that is depicted in the second example here you can check it out for k equals to 3 this 5 is the starting position of the first list and you can imagine this will be 5 comma 3 and then for the second list this 2 will be the starting position and you can say this is 2 comma 4 for the third list this 7 will be the starting position so you can say uh, 7 comma 2 right <coughs> so you know Uh, that the first k items will be the starting position and then the jump size is equals to k so you can write a simple for loop to extract each of the list when you know the starting position and the jump size right so i think now you have built all the intuition to solve this problem right so let's see a dry run and try to solve this problem in this case the k is equals to 2 and now you can imagine that if i extract the first list it will be 4 3 and 6 so i have already extracted it and given it is an uh, list 1 right so 4 3 6 in this case how to find the lis when you have 4 3 6 so let's start with 4 you take the lis array okay this array will be initially empty you have to find the lower bound of 4 that i had already explained in the lis and log n video find the lower bound of 4 it will go out of bound because you do not have any item when something goes out of bound then you have to push this item into the lis array go to the next item again find the lower bound the lower bound will stop here so you have to override this to 3 go to the next item 6 if you apply lower bound again then it will go out of bound and so you have to append 6 after this so the lis array size is 2 and therefore the length of lis will be 2 right therefore what will be the number of operations the number of items are 3 so the number of operations will be 3 minus 2 which will be 1 so you can convert this list 1 into a non decreasing curve by just doing one operation and you can simply see that you can make this 3 as 4 and uh, this is just a single operation required to make it non decreasing fine similarly you do it for the list 2 in this case if i take the lis array the array will be empty initially so when you do lower bound for 1 uh, then basically uh, it will go out of bound so 1 will get appended if you do lower bound for 2 it will go out of bound so 2 will get appended if you do lower bound for 1 again uh, it will stop here so this will be overwritten to 1 which is the same number right so in this case the lis size is 2 items so the lis length will be 2 and the number of operations you need to convert this into a non decreasing curve is the length of it which is 3 minus the lis length which is 2 that is equals to 1 so the total number of operations to make this entire array k increasing will be the addition of all these uh, operations for each of the list and that will make it 1 plus 1 so the answer will be equals to 2 so i hope you were able to understand this now the time complexity for finding lis is n log n right so this entire uh, algorithm will run in n log n time uh, there will be no k factor here uh, you you just think about why k is not coming here right because in the worst case maybe your entire list will have k value equals to 1 right so what we are doing is we are applying lower bound on each of the item one time we are not doing any more times right and so the largest log factor will be log n if the i mean the longest length of the list will be if all the items are present in that list right so that will be make it log n for binary search and we will be doing it one time for every item in the list so that is why this is n log n and the space complexity is order of n 
again for the case of k equals to 1 this is the worst case scenario right now let us look at the code implementation so this is the simple code for solving our problem we are given the array and the k value so this uh, will be the starting position of all the list right so we are running from 0 to less than k because we know that all the starting positions will lie from 0 to k minus 1 because the next item of 0 will be k right something like that so i am taking lis array for each of the list and then this is just the uh, just how we find longest increasing subsequence in n log n which i had explained in my previous video so you can just check it out fine and after after uh, processing every list for every list we are finding lis after doing that we are just adding up all the lis length right so let's say that in our uh, example the lis length was 2 and this lis length was 2 so if i add it up then the total lis length will be equals to 4 what is the total length of the list it is equals to 6 so you can just subtract 4 from 6 and you get 2 so that is also one way uh, to find the number of operations right so this is what i have done so i hope you were able to understand this problem like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you